Head to Montana. Love y'all. I don't think I can see it. Bye bye. Bye, I love you. made it up here yeah we, uh, we already ran one spot well i guess two spots now found a covey of huns didn't really have any wind at the time so it always kind of got right up on top of them but that's all right We're trying to figure out the cover i'm gonna change it up a little bit here and drive a little bit closer to our airbnb so y'all stay with us all right, guys, we got Chip and Jet on the ground for the first couple runs. Just wanted to give y'all a heads up and uh, just kind of be open and honest with y'all. We really did struggle the first few days trying to figure out these birds, and it seemed like our dogs kind of struggled a little. We had some really good points and some really not such good dog work, but it seemed like once they figured it out, they did. So this episode is going to be the first couple days, and then uh, we'll break it up, and the action really starts getting heated up after this episode. Not Whoa. too long after we started that run, Jet went on point. Freaking serious. Get Chip, Chip, fetch it, up. fetch it up. Here. What? Hold. Hold. Get here. Give it. Get Good, it boy. Here. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Chip. Yeah. Good papa. Good boy. Dead bird, fetch it up. Here. Boy. Yeah. We just double up on sage grouse? Yes, we did. On camera. <laughs> How did that happen? I, don't know. I was like, no way. Just looking at him. I was like, he's just smelling where he was for sure. Good dog. This one's got a full yeah. fan on him. This one's a lot better. So the same afternoon, we went to another spot and some sharp tails got up wild on Dakota. Hallie had been working these birds for a while. I hit that second one very hard. They probably were right over there. So the second day we went out, it was supposed to be a pretty warm day. And first thing in the morning, I mean, it had already been, you know, really warm. So we knew it was going to be a struggle. 
but we ended up going out we had a lot of wild flushes a lot of birds getting up you know 60 70 yards ahead of us that we couldn't really do anything with dogs ended up having a lot of false points and we were really just trying to figure out the cover i mean i wanted to show you all this and show you all the struggles that we had and how we started having more success as the week progressed as we started figuring out the cover type that we could actually hunt these birds in and not have them get up wild on us and be able to you know have the dogs hunt them and point them and really work the birds but we did end up knocking a few birds down this day Yeah. I kind of see him being on that shelf over there. What? As we started working this drainage right here, we started noticing Hallie getting pretty birdie up on this ledge and I thought it was metal arcs she was working, but ended up being a covey of huns. And this is just a prime example to trust your dog because she pointed these birds and I wasn't even paying attention. Metal arcs. She was pointing. Huh? Good one. Fetch it up. Good girl. Fetch it up. Here. Good one. Hallie, here. Got it. Here. Hold it. Hold. Hold. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Dad, it's so hot. All right. Good girl. Hey. Go get the other one. So we were trying to chase this covey of huns down and it was super hot. I mean, it was probably close to 90 this day. Really proud of Hallie and how she handled these birds. How have we not kicked a sharp tail out of here? I said, how have we not kicked it? Whoa! Good girl. Easy. Whoa. I pointed it, I wasn't looking over there. Yeah, she stopped. I got one. I got a dead one too. I killed, I killed, she's got the dead one. I killed one that's right over in there. Fetch it up. Here. Good girl, baby. Here. Hold it. Hold. Good baby. Good job, dude. All right. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up day three. We felt like we had a really good day considering the weather and you know, the dog's still just trying to figure out these birds. We had a lot of pad issues the next day. A lot of pads ripping and I think a lot of that was just due to pushing the dogs really hard the first few days and we ended up fixing that with some inner tube booties. Look at them, man. But this same day, we had a lot of wild flushes. A lot of birds just getting up, you know, good ways ahead of the dogs, not even giving them a chance. I think a lot of that was just part of, you know, the cover we were hunting in and hunting on the tops of these hills where the birds could see us. But I wanted to show you all this and just, you know, a lot of times I think you can get on YouTube and see a lot of people just killing them on the first day. And 
I don't think a lot of that is, you know, good for people as far as setting expectations. So I wanted to show you all that. But on the next episode, I'm going to be meeting up with my buddy Harold, hunting with him and just learning a lot from him. And he's been up here before. And we had a really good day. And I can't wait to show you all that footage. But I really appreciate you all watching. <laughs>